Hey everyone, it's Diliki, and today I am going to be reviewing Mittens Fluff and Stuff Lala Loopsie Mini Style and Swap 16 Ways to Mix and Match. So I found this at Target and I just thought she was so cute, and me and my sister had always talked about how we wanted mini Lala Loopsies to be able to switch their clothes. We were kind of tired of buying the exact same Lala Loopsie character just because she had a different outfit, even though our favorite Lala Loopsies are the minis. So, but now they actually came out with it, so I am really loving this because it's like my favorite kind of Lala Loopsie, mini Lala Loopsies, mixed with the actual fashions. Um, the only thing I can say that I'm kind of disappointed with is that it doesn't come with her pet and all the other ones used to come with their pets. So, sadly, this one does not. However, it does come out with a lot of other things, so it's understandable why it doesn't come up with a pet, I guess. Um, it even comes out with a purse. It looks like a pink marshmallow. Um, but we'll see what it looks like when I get it out of the box. Here's some other outfits. Her headpiece here keeps falling back, so we'll get a better look out of it when it gets out of the box. And then here's her before and after, it says. It's kind of cute. So, now let's take a look at the rest of the box. I think this box is really cute, actually. It's going to be sad to take it apart. <laughs> And here is the back of the box. 16 ways to mix and match. Style and swap. Mittens Fluff and Stuff is going ice skating. Just a perfect season to get dressed up in warm clothes, sledding or skating or snowball fighting. It's all great sweater weather fun. Sewn on December 21st from an Eskimo's, what does that say? Eskimo's scarf, sorry. And here we have a picture of Mittens. And see her teddy bears on the picture frame, but doesn't come with the doll. Well, oh well. <laughs> but that's cute. I really love that. And like the cocoa with marshmallows, and she has like snowflake patterns and mittens all around. It's so cute. Aw. Oh, pretzels. Not sure what that has to do with winter, but okay. Uh, this looks like, oh yeah, Peanut Big Top. These are so showing some of the other characters. Crumb Sugar Cookie. Spot Splatter Splash. And then, of course, the rest. That of what is on all boxes. <laughs> yep. And then I also, I like this box because I love its design. I just think it's so cute. And it's going to be hard to open up because I am i don't want to ruin it. But at the same time, you know, to get inside, you got to ruin it. Um, maybe I can show you the background later too, once I get them out of the box. And uh, here's the top part of the box, the handle. Ooh, a light went out. Hopefully everyone can still see. Uh, it's a, oh yeah, it's yarn, and it, it blue yarn, and it goes up, and it's just attached to it. We have heart, her pet, polar bear, um, a ball of yarn, and some knitting utensils. It looks like some marshmallows that are strung, and some cocoa, and I really, really love this handle, but it's like hard plastic, kind of like what any toy or doll would be. So I'm wondering, since it's attached to this um, plastic box that clearly needs to come off, I wonder what I'm gonna do with the handle, because clearly I can't just hold this as though it's some type of, you know, house purse kit case that I can carry around all the time, because it's, I mean, this type of plastic and the way they set it up, you have to break it apart, yet they made a nice handle. So maybe I can use it for decoration somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, there she is. And I will be right back after she is open. And I will probably show you the background that she comes with, too. 
All right. Hi, everyone. So I'm temporarily back. I just wanted to show the background. It's kind of cute. Um, I'm not going to keep it because I kind of destroyed it while trying to take out the packaging and everything. So, eh, however, um, you can still see the details and everything. So here she has her pet polar bear in a picture. And then we have over here, I don't really know what that is. I'm assuming it's a snowman. But, uh, yeah, I don't really know what it is. It's a snowman on a picture frame, I guess. Then we have her little Coco there. That's so cute. Uh, some scarves hanging off of <laughs> pins. And some buttons and stuff. It's supposed to make it look homey. And she, there's like, uh, snowballs. But they're not made from real snow. They're like cotton balls. There's some over here too. The floor is pink. And it is made out of... I actually don't know what that material is called. Oh well. Uh I it's it looks like a baby blanket though. And so does the top part. Well, I don't know what it would be. Not I'm not really good with material everybody. I ask for material and never know what it is. Ha. Huh. And then uh these stones on the outside of her door are actually marshmallows. Along with the one who will be able to open and close her door. Although, like I said, this is just a background, so it doesn't open and close. Oh, well. This is so cute. I wish they had made it so it wouldn't have had to break it. Um, and, like, it could have been a house. That would have been just so cute. But, oh, well. Creators didn't do that. Plus, with the handle, it would have been awesome. So I will be right back to actually review the rest of the stuff. Okay, so here is all the stuff she comes with, and yes, I did decide to keep the handle. I already described it, but here's a little bit of a close-up. Um, yeah, it's blurry. It's pretty blurry. I'm trying to get it. Oh, well, I showed it before, so I took it off the box. Here are the rest of them. All right, let's start with mittens. She is lighter than the average Lola Loopsy because she has no, uh, hair, I guess. I mean, she kind of has hair, but, um, she has no big, thick hair, and she has no dress, so she's a lot lighter. She, other than that, she works the same way. Head bobble, um, let's see, yeah, she can still turn her head, actually easier than most mini Lola Loopsies. Her arms um, are just as flexible. They go back and forth. You know, I've, um, anyone who has mini Lola Loopsies knows that the arms vary and sometimes they can move more than others. But they move the same way. And her legs are still just as flexible as well. Uh, here is her little marshmallow purse. It's pink. This is a better close-up of the headpiece that kept falling over, so you can tell they're pigtails. Yeah, they're pigtails, and they have little bows, pink bows. And then the top, they have the polar bear ears, and then she has her bangs. It's pretty cute. It's a hoodie. And then she has her pajamas. Um, by the way, this is what they look like on the back, so that you can put her in easier. And here's the other headpiece. It is um, pigtails with white bows. This style is pretty common for most Lala Loopsies. This is another common style, um, most known on B spells a lot. And sorry, it's blue and white here. And. Uh, It has like a plaid pattern to it, but no actual colors of plaid, just all blue and then white for the undershirt and dress. So I almost feel like they're overalls or something, <laughs> like jean overalls. It's really cute. Then here's a, is this a robe or a jacket? It's a jacket. <laughs> Sorry. 
Uh, yeah, it's a jacket, definitely. It has a blue belt, blue trimming on the bottom, blue collar, and the belt is tied in a bow. And it has buttons. Not sure if that is noticeable. My camera is kind of blurry right now. It's not focusing. I'm not sure what's wrong. But there are buttons on it. And a heart-shaped pocket. But yes, this is our little coat. And then she comes with pink boots. Um, let me just show one. So I don't have too much trouble here. How do I describe these boots? I don't know, they're just pink boots. <laughs> they're cute. And unfortunately, you can't see the details on them because my phone is being stubbornly blurry. See the bottom. I love looking at the bottom because a lot of times they have hearts and stuff, but this one's flat. Has nothing detailed on it. That's okay. And then we have our ice skates, my favorite. I always love ice skates on dolls or any kind of like roller skates, things like that, because they're just different. Can I focus it? A little. But they're blue ice skates with white on the top, and then lacing is white. So, now I'm going to just show images of all of it together when I put, <laughs> sorry it's covering her eye, um, when I put the outfits on her. I will only show three outfits, so I'm not going to mix and match everything to make a whole bunch of different styles because then I could be here all night. Um, However, I will do a few to show that you can do just different variations and to see what she looks like, too. Uh, also, if you haven't noticed, yes, I am in a different room. This is, again, my boyfriend's house, so I'm not going to show everything. Even though his room is not a mess, I still don't think it's great to show different rooms. Okay, anyway, <laughs> I will be right back.
And here's the last outfit, and I personally think it's the cutest. Uh, but anyway, um, she can sit and everything in this one. Uh, all the other ones she can move in. It was just the pajamas that were a little more stiff. And th that's pretty understandable. They are plastic material, uh, not, not Polly Pocket style, hard plastic, but still bendable. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> See? That's the texture. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I think this is the cutest outfit so far. Actually, out of all of the ones I've tried on her, I really like the other hairstyle best, so I think I might change that up a bit. But anyway, I hope you liked this review. Please like and subscribe. And I hope to have you of you as viewers next time. Sorry.